Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about how you put evidence into your essay and particularly how you include quotes. So, this is the same essay that I've been working on in the other videos. So I'm going to grab my topic sentence for my first paragraph and as you can see that's in the blue box. So I'm going to go down to my first paragraph and I'm going to paste that in. And I'm sorry about the background noise but there's a bit going on today. So. Charlie Fien is helpful to many people, but especially his best friend Norman Heath, also known as Nostrils because of his very large nose. This is a sign of a true friend. We see this. It's not a bad lead-in. We see this when Charlie um, gives the um, correct address to Nostrils before the race to win a job with Squizzy Taylor. Um, so already I have given away about four pieces of information to show that I know. I'm talking about it being the correct address. In fact, why don't I say the correct address um, of the Orient Club. I think it is, or the Orient? I don't know. I'll look in the book. Um, two nostrils before the race to win a job with Squizzy Taylor. So what I want to do now is I want to get a, um, an example to show this. So Charlie starts running, Charlie goes home after running, he meets Squeezy, they start the race. So that's on page 12. I open page 12 of my book, there it is. And I'm, you're on a winner there, Belly get, better get going. Da -da. Okay. So I've got a quote that I can put in. So, two comma, I replied. So I'm opening that to show that I'm opening a quotation. I use the single inverted comma because that's what's in the book. Two comma, I replied. Thanks. And I close the quotation. So I'm just using a little bit of text to back up what I'm saying so that I'm not just making up some bit of the story. So we see this when Charlie gives the correct address of the Orient to Nostrils before the race to win the job with Squizzy. Okay, so I want to provide a second example. Charlie is also helpful to his friend Nostrils. Help if I spelled that right. When he includes him in his job so that nostrils can earn some money as well. So I'm going to jump back to my index. Now let's see, so yeah, the dark Barlow, Barlow, Squizzy, Squizzy has to run, plays football, organises that, does this, you know what, we don't seem to have the liquor run in our in our index, which is really deeply strange. So I'm looking through, I can only assume that I've missed it. So, nostril start, oh, Charlie working for Squeezy and has to ran. I reckon that that is probably the liquor run. So let's go and have a look. This is a really good example of how a good index is helpful to us and an incomplete index is not terribly helpful to us. So, uh, he goes in. So, here's my quote. So, this is in fact from page 51 and this is Charlie talking to um, to Mr. Taylor, to Squizzy. He says, I know of someone, uh, comma, Mr. Taylor, full stop, I said, actually that's going to be a comma if it's I said, I said, full stop, Norman Heath. And that'll do. And so I close it. 
So I have given two examples and I have put a quote for both of them, just a short quote, just a little bit to show the reader that you know what, I can find stuff in the text, I know where things are, I'm not just making this up or misunderstanding it, there is definitely something in the text there. So now I'm going to explain it. These two examples show us that Charlie consistently makes an effort to, what am I trying to argue again? Oh, to be helpful. So not to include, but to help nostrils, both to win the race and to earn a little money. Being helpful to nostrils like this is one sign that he is indeed a true friend. So there you go. So it's pretty easy. Bit of detail about the idea on the topic sentence. Just a couple of examples with quotations from the book. Make sure you put quotation marks around the bit that are from the book. Um, explain to me that um, that this is these are signs of him being helpful and then tell me that being helpful makes you a true friend um, and that's it that's your paragraph done